Today we're going to talk about roots, particularly square roots and cubed roots. A root is two factors, or a square root is two factors that are the same number. So let's look at two times two. These are factors and they're the same number and two times two equals four. Another way of writing two times two is two to the second power, okay? So two squared equals four. Well, I wanna work backwards. I wanna start with my root sign. Looks like a division sign with a check mark in front of it. I wanna find the square root of four. Well, a root are factors that are the same number. A square root is two factors that are the same number. And I know that two factors that are the same number when multiplied together is two times two. So the square root of four is two. So now if I look at three squared, that equals nine. Well, the square root of nine would therefore be three because the two factors that are the same for nine are three times three. If I looked at the square root of four, or the square of four, four times four, that's 16. So the square root of 16 would be four because the two factors that are the same number are four, okay? There are other factors of 16, two times eight, um, but I need the factors of, that are the same number. So basically taking the square root of something is the opposite operation of exponents. So I square four, I get 16. The opposite operation is taking the square root of 16 and I get four. So now we're going to talk about cubed roots. Okay, we have the same root symbol, but now I'm going to add something to it. I'm going to add a three. It's like an exponent, but instead of being at the back, it's at the front, okay? So when you have a number with your root sign, that's going to change it. That's telling me how many factors the number inside the house has, okay? If there's no number, I'm looking at square. If there is a number, it's either cubed root or uh, the fourth root or the fifth root, whatever number is there. That's how many factors I'm looking for. So I know that eight equals two to the third power or two times two times two. So three factors. So if I'm putting eight inside of my cubed root house and I'm looking for the three factors that are the same number for eight, well, the answer would be two because two to the third power is eight. So now what if I'm looking at, let's say, three to the third power. Well, I know three to the third power, three times three times three is 27. So if I look for the cubed root of 27, I need the three, fa the three factors that are the same number. That's what I'm looking for. That would be three. We'll do one more. I know that 1,000 is 10 to the third power or 10 cubed. So if I put a thousand inside of my cubed root house, I'm looking for the number when multiplied by itself three times gives me a thousand. That number is 10, okay? So these numbers inside my root houses are all perfect roots. These numbers inside my square root houses are all perfect squares. If I have a number inside the house that is not a perfect square or not a perfect cube, then we're going to estimate as to where that number is. 
So if I have the square root of six, well, six is between four and nine. So I know my answer is going to be between two and three, okay? So I can say that it's approximately 2.2 or approximately 2.3, something like that, all right? So you can approximate where the number falls. This six is closer to four, so I'm going to say that the decimal point is closer to two than closer to three. So when the number is not a perfect square, we're just going to estimate where it is. What two whole numbers is it between?